Number formatting is used to change the appearance of a number or value in a cell. The default format for cells containing a value is the general style. This style displays values as plain numbers. Commonly used number formats include the accounting style, the percent style, and the comma style. Let's take, for example, the data that I have here. The cost of a car is $20,000. I will apply the comma style to this value. Notice the comma in the thousands place and the two decimal places. The tax rate is 7% showing as decimals. I am going to apply the percent style. For total taxes, I'm going to apply the accounting style. Notice the comma, the two decimal places, in addition to the dollar sign that was added to the cell. There are other options for number formatting. If I go up to the number grouping and click the drop down arrow next to the current number format, I will see a list of available options. Let's take a look at another example. I can apply a number format to an entire column. In column A, I have a list of dates. I don't really like the default date format, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to select the entire column, and then next to General, I'm going to click the drop-down arrow and choose Short Date. And I think for column B, I'm going to choose the comma style. So I'm going to choose the entire column and click on the comma style. Let's go back to the date column. I want to look at some additional options. So again, I'm going to select the entire column. I'm going to click the drop down arrow next to date. And at the very bottom, I'm going to choose more number formats. This is going to open up my format cells dialog box and notice under category that the date is already selected. So under my type, these are all my different date formats that I can browse through. I think I like this one right here, so I'm going to choose it and click OK. And notice how that new format is applied.